Thank you. It's the handshake seen around the world. Barack Obama and Donald Trump meet at the White House as the presidential transition begins. You know, we want to do everything we can to help you succeed because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. It's the first time they've ever met in person and Trump actually offered words of praise. We discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. I very much look forward to dealing with the president in the future, including counsel. Both of them uh, said all the right things. This is exactly what the country needs, is some healing. What was expected to be a short meeting lasted an hour and a half, and Obama even had this friendly moment with Trump. Here's a good rule. Don't answer the questions when they just start it's always the last one. Very good man. Thank you, very guys. good man. But is it all genuine? We spoke to body language expert Tanya Ryman. Is neither one of them really makes eye contact. So you'll notice that Trump is looking down and Obama is looking down. So they give that mutual respect of a handshake, but they don't give that mutual respect of the eye contact. And the eye contact is way more important than the handshake. These two are very uncomfortable around each other. You could tell by Trump's stance, how he sits. It must have been awkward for both, says MSNBC's Ari Melber. For all the pageantry and diplomacy between these two men, there is a bitter undercurrent that started with Donald Trump. That is going to hang over their meeting, and it's going to hang all the way until the January inauguration. Trump's historic day began at 8.45 a.m. when his motorcade left Trump Tower under tight security. 9.28 a.m., Trump and Melania boarded Trump Force One at LaGuardia Airport. Look at this, an inspiring water salute with fire hoses on the runway. The half-hour flight was covered live by all the cable news networks. We have Donald Trump's plane touching down here at Reagan National Airport. 11 a.m., the Trump motorcade arrived at the White House, entering through a back entrance. As Obama and Trump discussed the transition, First Lady Michelle gave Melania a private tour of the White House. I spoke to Anita McBride, Laura Bush's former White House Chief of Staff. This will be the first time she's ever seen the White House. So they'll see all the rooms, they'll see the state floor, they'll see the private residence portion, which is really what's most important for them to see. Ten-year-old Barron Trump will be the first young boy in the White House since John F. Kennedy Jr. in 1961. After the White House, Melania took a tour of the Capitol, holding hands with her husband. And House Speaker Paul Ryan showed the Trumps the inspiring view from the balcony. Our country is a great country. We go, we can go from a very difficult period, and this campaign was difficult. But the minute that the solemn duty of transition takes place at that first meeting, it sets the tone for all of us. Two men and a handshake, reassuring a divided nation.